When it opened in 1960, it could seat 46,000, and since then, it's more than doubled in size. Beaver Stadium in State College, Pennsylvania is rocking. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Michigan is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. is out of the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Come on, baby, let's go. Big time, let's go, let's go. Shift, shift. Check one. Big head, two. Yellow, three. Get out. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. Gain of one yard. Third down. Third down and seven. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's level at the 49. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverines have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. And he has a huge game. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Throws it out, and it goes nowhere. Around. 
Throws out to the running back, no good. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. It's third and 11. Ball on their own 38. He scrambles. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. They're crowding the line. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Tackle made at the 40. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Wants to throw outside. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 40's a mic, 40's a mic. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it third and five. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hand off and he won't make it. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Fourth down and it looks like they're gonna go for it again. Worked for him last time. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. I wonder why they went for it there. Yeah, me too. It's still only in the game to have to gamble like that. You have to question the play calling there that puts a lot of pressure now on their defense. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gold after a decent pickup. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 43 yard line. Second down. Watch the ship. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. From the 27 yard line, first down. Makes it to the 11. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. The Wolverines lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, black up. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at the six. That brings up second and five. From the six-yard line. Second down. Penn State! Oh, 
strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 46-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Now he's scrambling. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. From their own 27-yard line, first down. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Gonna try and scramble. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it 39. Kill, kill. From their own 28-yard line, third down. He's scrambling on the throw. Incomplete pass. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. Booming kick. Tackle made at the 35. Nice yardage on the run back. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State up seven points. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Loss of five on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Got double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go Mike to 48. And two. And a seven. Motion, motion, motion. Here go. And now he's got room to run. Complete for the 20. He's pushed out of bounds around the 11-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Nice run up the middle. On the carry. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Double tight, double tight. Check 13. Check 13. Hey, alert three. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Three yards. That'll bring up third and two. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown.
cleared it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 65-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 14-0. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Michigan's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, They've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. He goes downtown. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sunday. Five wide. He scrambled. Caught and up for the first down. That's a great tackle at the 16. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. On the pass, touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 84-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 14-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Penn State is up a score. And they got him. Michigan will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Makes it out to about the 20. The Wolverines use their second timeout. That brings up fourth and 15. Oh, excellent punt. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 48 yard line. Return for a gain of 16 yards. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Now he tries to buy some time. Finds his man, first down. And he's got his receiver, it's the sophomore. Still on his feet. He gets hit out of bounds at the 12. That's a game of 36 on the play. That makes it first and 10.
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. And down he goes at the two. And the goal line defense digging in here. And he's tackled at the two yard line. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. The Wolverines, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Of second and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. Finds the halfback in the end zone, touchdown. Toss to his reliable running back who made the play for the score. No way the defense could have properly defended that one. It was too well executed. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Good outside run there. So we played two quarters. 14 apiece. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. And that's Thursday night. This is the big show. He's to the 10. Run down at the 19. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. They'll run it. Tackle made at the 31. Right down at about the 39 yard line. Oh, a gain of eight yards. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Three. Black bar. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they push him out at the 43 yard line. Gain of 18 yards. First down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Sends it out quick, intercepted. It's a good play when a corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at midfield. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Kick 
catches it, and that's all. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. level at the 32-yard line. That's good enough for another Penn State. First down. From the 32-yard line. First down. Laterals back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Taken down right around the 24-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Check 13. Check 13. Check Go. Hey. Check nine, check nine. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Number one is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Check nine, check nine. Check 13. Take a lock. They'll drop in for a loss. Huge play for the defense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's on the run. He's got it with room to run. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. He's under pressure. Tackle at the 42-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Now he's scrambling. Looks to his receiver, first down. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it from the 28 10. yard line. Man left, man left. First down. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Mike 40, Mike 40. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. He has three scoring tosses in the game now. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 72-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Michigan gets set to kick this one away. Number 39 to return. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get off field north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, 
get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Foul, roughing the passer, defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Hey, let's get some penetration here. Let's get some penetration. Hey, alert 48. Red, two, left. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Thank you. Up the middle for a nice game. That's three down and one to go. The Wolverines with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, look, 48. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Come on, yo, let's go. Get up. Get up. Let's hear it. Let's do that. And two. Go. Caught it and tackled. He didn't make it. A score here might effectively end this one. Michigan is up seven. On the move, throws complete to the tailback. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He throws it. Oh, what an interception. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Go, let's go! He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 32. He's going to try and scramble, heading for the corner. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. So it's first and 10 after the big run. Go. 
halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Just under three to go in regulation. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Number 22 on the left at the 10-yard line. That'll move the chains for another Penn State. First down. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Penn State is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's taken down at the 17-yard line. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He scrambled. And he has it on the corner. He's out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Call it a gain of seven yards. Check, 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 check. That'll bring easy, up second easy, and three. Easy, easy. Just under two minutes in the game. He tries to buy some time. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. At the 30. And they finally push him out at the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of 39 yards. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. That makes it second and ten. Scrambling around. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. You know, there's so many times that you can crack in a situation like that, and they didn't. They come up with the stop of the ball game here this late. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. Just over a minute left. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Number 48 brings him down at the 15-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. He sails it long. 
The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 15. He fires. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Setting up play action, and they got him. Kill, kill, kill! Six yards Three. Play. That'll make it second and long. Green nine, green switch, switch, switch. Slam. Check 26, check 26. They go! Check 26, check 26. Go! He rifles it to the left. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. The Nittany Lions are going to call their second timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll make the sack. Makes the sack. Kill, kill, kill. There's a loss of six Yellow, on the play. Yellow, That'll make it green. second and long. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. We're going to overtime. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. He's on the run. Throws to the halfback. Touchdown. That's how you want to start off an overtime period, to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. He makes the PAT. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Tackled for a loss. Makes the reception. Number 92 makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. That'll bring up second and 15. Roger, Roger. Second and long. Ball on the 30. Here comes the pressure. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. From the 32-yard line, third down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Double tight, guys, double tight. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Here we go, here we go. 
He's under some heat. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The Wolverines coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.